So I'm currently um, out doing my best to capture the team working during their hackathon without distracting them, so trying to not let them notice me. But while I was out here, I noticed there is this starfruit tree right behind me, and I noticed that this one is fairly ripe, decent enough to eat. So, little snack while cruising around and filming. If it's an easy checkout process, it would make a lot of sense to offer an in. Because there's no easier way of, of paying with, with, than with Linux. Yeah. I mean, it goes hand in hand, you know, exchange. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, because uh, you need people to it's be a, able It's to an work. organic thing, but, but we have that opportunity. Yeah. You make, uh, uh, the shop makes every month, for example, stuff like that. Oh. So you usually want to create different addresses when somebody, for each payment you're going to receive. And because creating addresses is just another public key and there are a bunch of them and it's really easy to do. It makes sense. So th those are the, the things from from the users user perspective. I think works perfectly, like what we have seen already. But I think uh, we will need to think a little bit about that side of the of the plugin. Yeah, like how it will work for the for the merchant. But yeah, I mean, I think initially it's fine. If yeah, it exactly. With one and then the, the, the merchant who starts seeing, oh, now I'm getting a lot of business. Yeah, exactly. Then you start solving the next problem. I, you know, I I, I, I think it's them. I think naturally organically that's. How you can evolve it. You're right, especially if you get uh, merchants who are not already in crypto, so they don't expect any experience. So for they, for them, it's easier. Expect it to be 80 percent of their business. Yes. They're like, look, if it's just two percent in the beginning, yeah. and then five, and then once it hits ten percent, they start thinking about those questions. They will even and then people at, at to then, fix it for. <laughs> yeah. And at that <laughs> point, you know, you can start thinking about solutions. So. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. You're right. I just like to over-engineer things. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, <laughs> You guys all, Adam is the, our friend who has been developing. Ah, what are they called, the Nimi? Nimi Pet? Nimi Pet? Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, how long did you think, how long did you guys work on that for? Uh, like one month and a half. Okay. Yeah, CryptoZombies.io, basically almost the same, just instead of uh, teaching Solidity to do, to do about crypto, like the basics. Teach like everything about crypto, mm -hmm. like not coding, but uh, to open a wallet, to to get one name, let's say, to you know, what what is security? Something that we are uh, currently working, and I think it's it's already pretty advanced, is to use Nimic as a payment gateway, you know, like a PayPal-like feature. With the safe? With the safe and the, the key card that basically like smoothly directly integrates for you. Like, the, like an iPhone, like a pop-up? Uh, so wow. Yeah, that's like directly integrated with the safe and also any third party, party store that you authorize uh, will be able to sort of send a payment request or a transaction request to the safe. And from what I heard is that the basic uh, integration is done. Uh, the shop of course needs you know stuff to sell and that is also in the, in the making. And then it would really, the, I think the user experience would really be like as simple as PayPal, right? You just, without the login, right? And then um, you would basically, you know, click a link like pay with PayPal, and that would just client side pop up, pop up, pop up, get the authorization, and then you can just sign it. That's it. No one has that. No. Did it change? Yeah. Right now you can to use MetaMask, but it's also a pain in the ass. Yeah. The code makes the rules, yeah. and uh, if you wrote a shitty smart contract, well, you can argue that it's, it, it's not doing what you wanted it to do, but it's actually doing what it's what you wrote down, yeah. and it's going to do that, yeah. right? And that's you know ultimately then maybe not the intended behavior, but it's the actual behavior, and that's what what is actually you know in effect. That's Daniel's birthday cake. We just missed Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> that was the deal last year. We, we can eat a cake, doesn't matter if the person here or not. <laughs>